Alrighty, what is with the video we posted yesterday? So many people were like, where did this come from? Um, but it is part of our new series, What If? And there were a lot of questions. So this is um, part of the series that we're gonna be launching uh, that, to be honest, there's a lot of new series coming to Amusement Insiders uh, that you guys don't know about yet, but we're completely changing up how Amusement Insiders operates. We're definitely going after a more general public audience and we're focusing on kind of like exiting the coaster community without exiting if that makes sense so a lot of people are curious as to why we're exiting the coaster community and we've just realized that the coaster community locks you into such a um, tight knit group of people that have all kind of the same opinions and if you have differing opinions like me a theme park enthusiast um, you're kind of viewed as a little like Ooh. And we've noticed that when I make content that I enjoy or content that, you know, I'm questioning or I have a lot of questions about and I'm curious about and the whole business analysis stuff, people really enjoy it. And I get a lot of views on things that are not typically kind of looked up to in the coaster community. And this is one of them. So the What If series is definitely one of my favorite things and one of the things that I'm looking forward to most. So this is definitely the first video a part of that. What if Canada's Wonderland got an RMC? I'm gonna tell you right now that um, the best part about being a part of Amusement Insiders and it growing so quickly and so much is you tend to get people reaching out to you with information that work at various areas or places that might know information. For example, City Hall might be one of them um, or someone that may work in a permits or trademarks or who knows. And I know I'm not the only one. I know there are bigger channels out there, hint, hint, Coaster Studios that might know information because of that. The bigger you get and the more attention that is brought to you, especially since our channel covers Toronto construction stuff and theme parks, we might get information that could lead us in the direction. Now, sometimes that information could be completely incorrect, and that is where I'm gonna come in with this. Whenever you hear a YouTuber or Instagrammer or anyone in the community say that they know what's coming or they have information or someone told them, take that with the biggest grain of salt. It could end up being extremely wrong. When it came to Yukon Striker, we had one of the best sources you could probably get um, in terms of finding out information, and they still ended up being wrong about the height. Um, so again, that is why I always say in all my videos, take things with a grain of salt. It doesn't matter who the information comes from, it could end up being wrong. Now, with that being said, there is definitely a huge rumor going around that Canada's Wonderland could potentially be getting an RMC down the road. Doesn't mean it's gonna be the next coaster, but it is definitely one or two coasters away from being built at Canada's Wonderland. And from what I'm hearing, it could be the finale for Frontier Canada. With that in mind, you guys have seen, I chose the name Stampede. I really like that name. I think it reflects the Calgary Stampede and Frontier Canada is the whole multi-Canadian area project. You have Yukon Striker from the Yukon. Calgary Stampede would be amazing in there as well. But I will we'll give the name Stampede. It's a lot better than Calgary Stampede. A lot of people didn't like the name Calgary Stampede. Don't know what I was thinking. Stampede's so much better and it can still get the same message across. But the rumor I'm hearing actually counteracts the name I chose for it. The rumor I'm hearing is they're actually going to go for a Canadian railroad theme. 
which would, um, I'm trying to think of my word here. It would kind of like correlate with the whole railroad idea that was supposed to be built in the original Frontier Canada idea under Taft. So that's interesting, and that makes me think that this rumor of an RMC coming and being themed to a railroad uh, might have some truth to it. I the, the details that were given about the possibility of that were kind of like, ooh, that sounds really possible, and that sounds like something Wonderland would be thinking with the whole revitalizing Frontier Canada. Now, with that being said, a lot of people were like, where is this going to fit? There's no land at Canada's Wonderland. Well, in fact, there is. This area is something I'm going to be watching over the next two to three years very closely. Action Theater, Whitewater Canyon, and the little service road that leads towards Dinosaurs Alive from the Splashworks Whitewater Canyon area. There is a ton of land here. In fact, this blueprint that you're looking at right now for Stampede at Canada's Wonderland fits perfectly into that. Um, so using mapping, uh, Inside Great Adventure built this completely into that plot of land without demolishing Action Theater, without having to remove Whitewater Canyon. And the most you'd have to do is maybe redirect the service road under certain aspects, have it turn a little bit. That is the most you'd have to do. So you would literally not have to remove anything to fit this roller coaster in. So a lot of people are like, where is this going to fit? Well, it's going to fit there. It's going to fit perfectly there. Um, and we know that Canada's Wonderland is, is going to continue to build big roller coasters. A lot of people are like, well, no, they can't fit anything else. No, that's simply not true. And then eventually we'll get to a time where they need to um, sell older roller coasters or remove them like you see at King's Island, King's Dominion, um, and therefore. Um, nonetheless, I'm trying to think of any other questions that people had to ask. Originally, like the What If series would be me explaining typically why I think that this might be coming to Canada's Wonderland. And a lot of people were actually questioning, well, RMC can't work in Canada. That is somewhat true, but that is also extremely incorrect. So RMC um, can sell their coasters and their designs to a park, outside of the United States and with the whole fair trade, um, not fair trade, free trade agreement, fair trade with the whole free trade agreement between Canada and the U S um, hiring American workers to build a project in Canada is um, a very difficult process. And that is what a lot of people are referring to when they say RMC can't work in Canada. So what Canada's Wonderland would have to do to be able to hire RMC workers would be to have to prove that RMC workers are the only ones that could build this coaster and they're the best at it and they need those RMC workers over Canadian workers to build a project. So it's not impossible. Canada's Wonderland can still prove that RMC workers and blah, 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 go through that project uh, process to get those workers to build it. But that's not even end all there. Let's say the government rules against the, the idea of American workers coming over to build um, a roller coaster in Canada and that they want Canadian workers to build it because there are people in Canada who can build this. So Canada's Wonderland can literally just purchase the design from RMC um, and uh, RMC can just overlook the construction project uh, project with the Canadian workers. So there's a second process to that. I have reached out to RMC with further questions, so we'll see if they uh, answer anything back, but they've been pretty good at answering some questions so far. Um, so ruling out an RMC in Canada is not completely out of the books. RMC is definitely able to build in Canada if they're able to prove that American workers are better, and they're definitely able to sell their designs to Canada's Wonderland or any park in Canada um, and Canadian workers can build the project. It's not end all. Um, so ruling out RMC in Canada is over that is a no go. Like it's definitely possible. On, on top of that, at an ACE event, what's interesting is it was kind of stated that if Wonderland were to purchase an RMC, that it would not be a conversion or renovation of a current wooden coaster at Canada's Wonderland. So a lot of people are like, well, Wild Beast, RM um, Wild Beast, Mindbuster, Wild Beast, Mindbuster, and I've definitely been Team Mindbuster. But uh, Canada's Wonderland definitely came out and kind of said that, no, we would go ground up if we were to build an RMC. And that correlates to um, what the park has told us directly as well. So we were told by um, the VP of the park that if Wonderland were, or sorry, any coaster coming to Wonderland typically is going to go for tallest, fastest, longest. Um, with that being said, the coaster that you are looking at is not going to be the longest of its kind. Because Steel Vengeance still holds the longest record, and they're not going to take any current record that Steel Vengeance still holds away from Steel, Steel Vengeance. So the records that 
our RMC would take would definitely be tallest, steepest, and fastest, most likely. Um, it's already been taken away from Steel Vengeance, and Cedar Fair definitely has shown that Canada's Wonderland is a park that they want to invest world records into, and we're hearing from the park themselves that they are definitely going to be going after world records. Um, and with a hotel opening up in 2021, a world record might complement that really well. Now, we're not getting a coaster in 2021 at all. Cedar Point is getting their coaster in 2021, and King's Dominion is getting their coaster in 2021, and there are other parks in the chain that need a coaster in 2021 long before Canada's Wonderland needs a new roller coaster. So please do not take what I just said as we're getting a new coaster in 2021. You might see it in 2022, 2023 is what I'm predicting. In 2022 and 2023, you are definitely going to either see a wing coaster or a ground up RMC in my opinion. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm frank, I definitely see a RMC coming to Canada's Wonderland to compete the, complete the Frontier Canada area. Anyways, Hopefully this answers any of your questions that you had for what is an RMC going to be doing at Canada's Wonderland and what is this video about. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see in our next uh, next episode of What If, What Park, and What Roller Coaster. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, um, a comment if you uh, want to see more of these and what parks you want to see, and don't forget to share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.